Let's talk about SIBO, small intestinal bacteria overgrowth. Although it doesn't have to be bacterial, it can be fungal and it's often both. So how does this come about? Well, in our large intestine, there are trillions upon trillions of microbes, bacteria and fungus, and they're all incredibly good for us. We, without them, we wouldn't survive. They do things like break down fiber. We can't properly digest fiber. So the microbes in our large intestine do that in a process called fermentation. And that process has a, um, creates gas. What else the um, microbes in the large intestine do? They create short chain fatty, fatty acids. They create um, neurotransmitters for our uh, brain. Uh, and it's the largest part of our immune system. So they're incredibly important and without them, as I say, we, we, wouldn't, we just wouldn't survive. So in SIBO, what happens is there is a migration of some of those microbes from the large intestine into the small intestine. And it's usually the opportunistic type of uh, microbes, the ones that love sugar and carbs. So this causes a fermentation process in the small intestine, and that causes gas, the release of gas, that causes the bloating. But what is the overall cause of SIBO? What is it, how does it really happen? Um, well, it usually begins with, believe it or not, stomach acid, my favorite subject, stomach acid. Poor quality stomach acid can lead to SIBO. But the other thing, or an other thing, is um, insufficient digestive enzymes. So pancreatic digestive enzymes are necessary for the breakdown of carbs, for the digestion of carbs. Other causes can be food poisoning, something that um, was on the food that you consumed. Um, high carb and high sugar intake is really high on the list. Anti uh, antibiotic use, uh, can also um, cause that because that leads to a condition known as um, intestinal dysbiosis. So the um, the range of microbes is reduced, um, leading to the possibility of the opportunistic bugs to take over. So what are the symptoms of SIBO? Well, SIBO is all about gas. It's all about gas in the gut. Um, that leads to bloating, it leads to um, distension and discomfort and pain. And people with SIBO often say, you know, I look like I'm pregnant, you know, I look like I'm six months pregnant. Can also um, cause diarrhea, it's very common with SIBO, but constipation is also common. Um, and the other things are belching or burping a lot and flatulence. Um, often foul-smelling farts, shall we say. So it's all about gas. Is SIBO treatable? Yes, it is. We just got to starve off the bad bugs. If you'd like help with uh, SIBO, if you are suffering from SIBO, or if you are experiencing any of those symptoms that we mentioned just before, then get in touch and um, I'd love to help you. You can contact me through my website, markwesthednaturopath.com and um, I'll see you in the next video.